We've all been there. A roadside puncture. It's a deflating part of any ride. However, punctures are just as much part of cycling as freewheeling down those descents. However, a roadside puncture can turn into a bit of a nightmare when your rims are difficult to get off and you've forgotten your tyre levers. At least I'm in a nice place for a puncture. Before we start, just gonna let you know that I'm not very good at changing punctures. I do really struggle, especially with no tire levers. So uh, this might be quite a long video. So first up, to get your tire off without any levers, you need to start by getting the tire off the rim. You need to do this by getting the tire bead into the center, just by pushing it like this. Go ahead and make sure that your tire is in the center of the rim. This is even more important if your wheels and tires are tubeless ready as they will have a tire bead hook and a wheel bead hook that interlock. You want to make sure you break this lock when the tire is deflated. Now that your tire is off the rim, you want to position your valve at 12 o'clock at the top. You then want to put your tire on the floor and starting at 12 o'clock, push all the way down to the bottom to six o'clock. So that gives you quite a bit of slack at the bottom like that. So flip the wheel round to where you've loosened the tyre and then use your hands to push the tyre off the wheel like that. And remember guys, safety is first when changing your inner tube. Always wear a helmet. You never know what's going to fall out the sky. Now, in all honesty, you are probably better off not using tyre levers to put your tyre back on. It will reduce the chance of pinching the inner tube. So first up, align your logos, people. You're going to start off by the valve and you want to get half of the tyre on first without the inner tube. Forget that, we'll come to that later. So start at the valve and then you just want to push half the tyre on like so. Now give your inner tube a little bit of air, just so it's not flat. This will help stop the inner tube twisting when you put it into the tire. You then want to slot the valve through the valve hole, and then you want to tuck the inner tube into the tire. All the way around. Like so. Next up, you want to push your tire onto the rim. Now you want to be extra careful here not to pinch your inner tube. You want to do it by using your thumbs and slowly going all the way around until the tire is on the rim. You might find as you're putting the tire back on that the tire might pop off in other places, but that's fine, let it happen. Sometime it can let the inner tube settle better. But now it's time for the last push, and this I find the hardest, getting the last bit of tire on. I find it easiest to rest the tire against my stomach with the last bit of tire away from me, and then just use my thumbs just to roll the tire back on like that. There we go. So there we have it, the tyre back on the rim, ready to be inflated, and then I can carry on with my ride. So I really hope this video has helped you for the next time you get yourself into a bit of a tricky situation out on the road, or you might be out on the roadside right now trying to get that tyre off. If you have any of your own tips or tricks on how to get tyres off, please share them with us in the comment section below. Right? I'm going to carry on with my ride. Oh.